Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you. Well, good morning. It's a great pleasure to be here, uh, especially it's just 10 minutes from my house. So this has been the shortest uh, commute to a keynote uh, in my <laughs> entire career. So I'm very, very pleased to be here. Uh, and I want to uh, give you not uh, research results, uh, not uh, measurements and, and uh, data. Today, this talk is going to be about vision and execution. And so I was thinking uh, in, in my previous life as an academic, what, what would have been you know, the, the most useful thing for me to take home from a keynote like this? And hopefully, at the end of this keynote, uh, uh, all of us will, will go out with even more questions than uh, answers and even more ideas for exciting research and for exciting projects. But the key point that I want to make, though, is that uh, Connected vehicles can really, really, really change the landscape of our cities, the, help us fight uh, climate change, which I believe is problem number one that we face today uh, in, in the world and in each of our uh, societies. So imagine a city where every single bus, car, truck, van uh, is not just a machine that moves people from one point to the other, but actually an active node of the wireless infrastructure and a crucial element of the smart city. Now, this is not science fiction. We actually did it here in Porto, Portugal, uh, where vehicles mesh with each other. All of the buses, several taxis, garbage collection trucks uh, are building this uh, network by connecting to each other and to the existing fiber infrastructure. So they have onboard units that have DSRC, so V2V technology and V2I technology, 4G LTE, Wi-Fi, uh, and they are providing today free Wi-Fi to 400,000 people in the city, users that have used this uh, uh, at least once, uh, and gathering terabytes of data that were, the city is already using to optimize all sorts of processes inside of the city. So again, this is not science fiction. We actually implemented it and deployed it. And what I want to do today is to walk you through all the steps that were required to actually make this, uh, uh, turn this into a reality. Now. Why do we want all of the vehicles to be connected to each other and to the internet? If you think about it, there are 1.2 billion vehicles in the world, but actually only 5% of them are, have a permanent connection to the internet. So really, really, really low. Uh, of those 1.2 billion vehicles, 26% of them uh, are commercial fleets uh, that are traveling more than half of the miles. So if we're able to use that underutilized asset as part of our infrastructure, there's really uh, a million different uh, applications.